Do you love those Snapchat filters? Ever wondered if you could use them in your Zoom meetings or maybe your team meetings? Well, guess what? Now you can using Snap Camera. Well, if that is something that you want to learn how to use, let's move right into the video. First, we need to go on to the browser. For me, I'm going to use Chrome. And then we're going to search up for Snap Camera. Okay, so I'm going to leave the link in the description box if you don't want to type it out. So once we've gone on to the site, then you can go ahead and scroll down and look for download. If you're using an HP or a Dell, um, you could go ahead and download for that. Or if you're using a Mac, you can go ahead and select the downloads for a Mac. Once you've downloaded it, you can go ahead and begin the installation process. I'm serious, guys. Your students are going to be wowed. Your engagement is going to just increase with the use of these filters. So there you have it. This is my camera. I am being recorded by Snapchat. Now you can always go through and use the different filters that are here on um, Snapchat available for you. Okay, so let's try this filter. There you have it, my background is moving. So let's try this one. So there's the baby feature. Um, sometimes I like to use this Snapchat filter when I have my seventh grades and I just want to remind them that they're still a little bit of youngins. And all you have to do is go through the featured um, filters. If there is a filter that you're looking for, a particular filter that you like, then you can go ahead and search for the lenses. Okay, so all you have to do is click on a filter and the filter changes. Let's try the cartoon. Hey students, welcome to French class. Okay, so these different filters are going to be engaging to your students. All right, seeing the teacher come up and using these filters into their classroom is so much fun. All right, um, you can go ahead, like I said, you can search so many the different filters that you want to use. Um, you can look for cute color effects. Let's say I wanted to use, um, let's find another filter. I need you to complete my assignment. This is the face that I would use. All right, so you can go ahead and use this um, feature. It's amazing. Now, let's see how else we can go ahead and use this feature in the different applications that we use, perhaps Zoom or Teams. Remember, the first thing that you have to do is you have to park it, okay? So put it in your dock or your um, toolbar. Don't close out the app, we minimize it. And then we're going to go ahead and open up the Zoom app, start a new meeting, and then we're going to turn on our video. When we turn on the video, you see that automatically my filter from the Snapchat app opens up. But in order to get that for the very first time, you would have to select this arrow up button. And here where it says select a camera, you can either select the FaceTime camera, because I'm using a Mac, or the Snap camera, okay? And that's all you have to do. So once you're done, if you wanna switch through the filters, you would have to go back to your Snap camera application to change the filter. You're unable to change the filters in Zoom. And of course, it still allows you to use your virtual background, okay? So let's go and take a look at what happens when we use it in Microsoft Teams. So I'm here in one of my test classes and I really want to um, go ahead and meet my students. So I'm going to go ahead and select the meet button. Now, what I want to do is I want to change my camera. So I'm gonna go here where it says internal mic speakers. I'm gonna select the little buttons and I'm going to change my camera from the FaceTime camera. Now once you've installed the application and you've gone ahead and you've made the changes, um, 
you simply go ahead and click meet and as you can see my snap camera is up and functioning and it's using the last filter that I used in snap camera and then I would go ahead and select meet now and I would go ahead and meet my students and have class as normal well folks that's all I have for you today I really do hope that you found this tutorial helpful if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up share this video with all of your teacher friends and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.